Good day everyone, I'm Dan. Welcome back to my channel, Pretty Average Astro, and to this mini series, I guess, of building a little travel rig. So if you watched my last episode, I was either going to go the Skywatcher Star Adventurer GTI or a harmonic mount, and obviously I've gone the uh, GTI. So I ended up giving Pete a call from Astro Anarchy. He owns a telescope store here in Southeast Queensland, just south of Brisbane and it's pretty much my go-to place for all my Astro gear. So I talked to him about my plans and what I was sort of looking to, to do. And the main reason I was looking at the harmonic mounts is obviously they're very portable, but it would also be able to support my Skywatcher 120 ED, which obviously this can't. But I really came down to just my personal circumstances, probably for the next 12 months, I'm gonna be pretty busy and I just pretty much wanted one setup that I can just plonk out and take traveling if I need to. So it's really, really humid at the moment, so I'm, uh, I'm sweating pretty bad. Um, but this is what I've come up with uh, for now. I've sort of jerry-rigged a bunch of old gear that I had to mount everything where I have, so I'll give you a bit of a tour of that. So starting from the bottom, we've got the tripod at its lowest point the pier adapter and I think that's a, a really good height for just carrying lifting and being somewhat low to the ground and I've got the counterweight that I need I've got the SV Boney 30 millimeter guide scope the Zeebo 290 MC guy camera that's mounted to the bottom of this dovetail on the end, I've got the ASI Air Mini mounted on the back with the Zewo 533 MC Pro. Zewo filter drawer. I'm most likely going to use the Optifong L Ultimate filter. I've got the 50D mounted on top and a SV Boney Dew Heater. So I did manage to balance it pretty much perfect, so that's good. First impressions, just with the alt as bolts, the polar alignment, really, really good. Much better than the HEQ5 that I had. Not that that was too bad, but obviously that's a heavier rig, so it's a bit lighter, a bit more easy to use. And you can see how close <laughs> that gap is. It's probably almost probably a bit too close to comfort for, for most people. Yeah, it's pretty much on the edge to get everything balanced. I have got the mount directly plugged into the ASI Air, but eventually I'd like to, to connect it wirelessly just to have one less cable. So then it's pretty much just the top half that needs to move around. So that's the setup at the moment. I'm really happy that I managed to fit it all pretty compactly and pretty nicely. So I am looking at the Star Arizona 3D mounted uh, system for the 50ED. So I'll see how I'll go at the moment. Yeah, but I'm really happy, really excited. Uh, the GTI is much smaller in person than I thought it was going to be, which is a, a good thing. So yeah, now it's just a waiting game because the uh, weather's not too crash hot at the moment, but hopefully I'll get a first light soon and let you know how I go. And just another thank you to Pete from Astro Anarchy for helping me out, giving me some good advice and looking after me and getting this set up ready to go. So I'll see you in the next one.